You've completed five of the six steps towards achieving full control. Now the final step, communication. By establishing clear and efficient communication with all internal and external stakeholders, you and your company can safeguard against not only in-house challenges, but also surprise attacks from the public domain which could place you under threat. Communicating clearly and efficiently on strategy, operational conduct and allocation of income will greatly reduce your risks, especially in the post-bets world. Withholding access to such information could lead to investors filing a case against the company alleging fraud, as in Caterpillar, or unwelcome governmental investigations. Full disclosure helps lower the risk profile of the company and brings it one step closer to being fully in control. Transparent communication backed with fully aligned financial stories will give your company the layer of shielding it needs. In short, your risk profile decreases as your data disclosure increases, but if the data has not been properly prepared, it becomes less simple. The mining giant Rio Tinto has made its sales revenue and taxes paid by location publicly available, all good so far. Yet, by comparing this with the global allocation of full-time employees, we can see clear mismatches between location of employees versus location of sales revenue and corresponding taxes paid. This type of disclosure brings you all the way back to step one, gaining control over your financial data. Or take IKEA, where an independent study commissioned by the Greens and the European Free Alliance Group found that IKEA has avoided taxes of over 1 billion US dollars in the past six years. These public disclosures not only damage a company's reputation, but also gradually reduce its market value. If you don't set up sufficient communications, you could experience disputes before tax authorities and stakeholders, a lack of stakeholder trust in the organization, reputational issues, a business out of line with a reliable, solid governance policy. So ask yourself, do you have efficient reporting systems? Do you have fully aligned information available for each part of your value chain backed with quantified financial data? And do you report such details to your shareholders? If the answer to any of these is no, here's what you need to do. Thank you.